coming up in this read. Last projection. This individual had their own traumas and their own bills that they brought into the connection with you. And that, that wasn't, that, that wasn't fair. That was not fair at all. Hi Gemini, we're doing your love reading for July 2023. If love isn't your thing, you can always go check out your general reading that I released at the start of the month. Also, you can find my upload schedule and the list of the card decks I've used for your read in my description box and in my pinned comment below. Okay, right, so Gemini, but it's coming in towards you in love for the month of July 2023. Okay, right, so you have got differences and reminder, right, so it says you'll not always agree with everybody and you and they won't always agree with you, okay. Um, it's said in a bit of a different way from that though, you will not always agree with everyone and them you. Um, different culture, different beliefs, different opinions, etc, etc. And a lesson that you've already learnt in a karmic situation. And then it says, don't forget. So there's some, like, a cycle that you've already been through in the past is playing out again. And it's playing out in your love energies throughout this month. Um... So I do feel with this one, Gemini, that maybe someone is trying to um, convince you of something. Hmm. This could be you feeling like uh, you don't necessarily belong to to a certain uh, social group or a certain sector. Some some of you could be analysing uh, your your beliefs. Something like that. What's under the, the grove? Heal your wounds and mend your heart. Apologies and compassion are indicated. Apologies and compassion is indicated. Okay. Um, well, that's a really gentle energy, that one. So, Spirit's asking for you to be um, maybe compassionate to other people who have got a different opinion to you. Maybe something like that. Um, and, and it's definitely a reminder that, like, if you feel within a certain group setting that you have to constantly work really, really hard just to get people to listen to you or just to get people to like you, then it's a reminder that that particular group of people are not for you, okay? Your, your group, your people are going to be compassionate, they're going to be gentle, they're going to be understanding, they're going to be more open-minded, okay? So I feel strongly that this particular message is for a handful of Geminis who are trying to find their way in the world and wondering why certain people seem to be super, super abrasive, okay? Um is indicating that because they're not your people, that they're not for you. Right, so I don't know how this is going to tie in with your tarot, but we shall see. So with your tarot, we're going to be looking at your person of interest energy towards you and your energy towards them, okay? And we'll, we'll see how it differs. Right, can we have a look at Gemini's person of interest, please? How does, Gemini, how does Gemini's person feel about Gemini at this point in time? How does Gemini's person feel about the relationship or the connection with Gemini? What is it that they're wanting from the relationship with Gemini? What are their challenges and what actions should they take or are wanting to take towards Gemini, please? Right, so we're going to do three shuffles. There's one two, three. Okay, and then this deck is the energy of the connection itself. How does this relationship or connection currently stand between Gemini and their person of interest? Where is this relationship or the connection headed? And what is the potential outcome or advice from Spirit here, please? The Gemini and their person of interest. 
And we'll do three shuffles again. Okay, it's one, two, three. And then this deck is your energy, Gemini. And I have to do all this on camera so that you can see that nothing has been meddled with, okay? Um, I've not laid the cards out how I think they should go. The messages are the messages that comes out, okay? But is Gemini's energy towards their person of interest, please? How does Gemini feel about the relationship or the connection? What are Gemini's challenges and what actions should Gemini take or is wanting to take towards their person of interest, please? Okay, three shuffles. One, two, three. Okay, where does this connection currently stand, Gemini? The six of coins, the card of fairness, the card of equality, the card of give and take. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting the word generosity mostly out of this particular one for you, Gemini. So you've really made quite a big investment with this person. Okay. Um, I mean, some some of you could have. <laughs> helped the, this individual financially uh, you could be <clears throat> putting down a deposit on on a house or a flat together or something like that okay but it really does show how you're being the backbone of a situation here okay you have invested quite a lot into this individual it's unclear at this point in time for me as a reader as to whether or not they have made an equal investment into you We'll find out more when we start pulling more cards, okay? But certainly from, from your side of the table, you certainly have made um, a lot of really big investments into this situation. Is is a very generous energy, okay? Um, it is you sharing your time and your gifts and your energy with, with other people and, and being really generous with people too. Okay, right. How do you feel about your person of interest right now? even if subconsciously right, let's take a look the four of swords um i want to say exhausted you feel exhausted by this person or by the situation that that you're in with this person um needing to reevaluate quite a few things as well probably you're probably reevaluating why you put in all of the effort that you did so yeah for some of you for a lot of you <clears throat> that other person wasn't as invested in the situation as you were, okay? So it is starting to feel really one-sided now, all right? Because we've got you over here re-evaluating, why did I do that? Why did I say that? Why, why, why? Okay. Um, how do you feel about the connection or the relationship or what is it that you're wanting from the relationship, even if subconsciously? Justice, yeah, you want fairness, you, you, you're wanting the books to be balanced. You're wanting the other person to contribute just as much as, as you are or just as much as you did. Um, you definitely feel like you were more than fair in a situation and feeling like they were not being fair, not even remotely. Again, because you've had to reevaluate where you've been spending your, your time and your energy and your generosity. So you definitely do feel like something was one-sided. Some of you are feeling flat out used. For certain. Okay. How do they, f how do they feel towards you? Again, even if subconsciously, the Ten of Swords. They feel that, that you were responsible for ending the situation. Um, I, I, I don't like this one, Gemini, because it's saying they feel that you betrayed them. Okay. Now, again, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just passing on the messages. This is not in my opinion. This is not me being judgy. I'm just literally reading the cards. Your person feels like you betrayed them. 
What do they want from the connection? The Five of Cups. That's telling me that they're currently wallowing in self-pity, that they're currently feeling very sorry for themselves. It's telling me that they're not being very productive at all. Okay, it's, it's telling me that they're wanting just to finish, finish this thing. Can you clarify the Five of Cups, please? On what it is that Gemini's person is wanting from the connection. Thank you. The Seven of Cups. It's a card of a fantasy or a fantasist. Take it as it resonates. Oh, okay. I'm getting the impression that this particular individual is very flighty. They're very fickle. Okay, Gemini. It's showing me that at this point in time, your person doesn't actually know what it is that they want because they're far too uh, engrossed in wallowing in self-pity. All right. So it is indicating to me that they're going to remain in this uh, mindset for a, a while longer. What are your challenges here? Let's have a look. <laughs> the Seven of Cups. Yeah. So the Seven of Cups over here is a challenge for you here. So the fact that this person doesn't even know what it is that they want is presenting as a challenge for you, which makes perfect sense. Because, Gemini, this person doesn't know if they're coming or going. So how, do you know what I mean? So it's like, how on earth are you supposed to know whether or not you're coming or going? Because you've made all of this investment into this individual. So it's like their mindset by default is rubbing off on you because it's presenting as a challenge for you. So you don't know where you stand with this individual because this individual doesn't know what the fuck they're doing and they don't know what it is that they want. Therefore, how can you possibly know where it is that you stand? What are their challenges? The four of wands. That's the card of marriages, holidays, commitments, security, strong foundation, um, a home, a family, anniversaries and milestones. And it's coming out as a challenge. This individual could be coming out of a commitment. Or there could be some kind of milestone that's coming up here that is making this person really sad. Clarify the four of wands, please. Is this person's challenge? Thank you. The lovers off balance. What's your energy, Gemini? Some kind of milestone this coming up that involves you is presenting as a challenge for this individual you might have celebrated something recently gemini and that this person over here knows about that recent celebration that recent happy occasion, happy event, happy celebration. I don't think that they were part of it, but they definitely witnessed it. And it's pulled up a lot of emotions for that particular individual. I'm feeling that this individual is begrudging your happiness with this. Okay, because the four of wands were your major arcana off balance. In the challenge position. They're, they're begrudging you your happiness. You could have had an anniversary recently and they've seen it. They've seen it online and they felt overwhelmed with jealousy and confusion. Okay. Where is this connection headed, please? The King of Coins. It's headed towards your stability, your security, is heading towards a lot of success for you. And also as well, this King of Coins has their back turned to this side of the table. So because you turned your back on all of that, you're heading straight towards stability, security, 
abundance also with the king of coins the king of coins is someone who is very very abundant and very successful you can clarify the king of coins on where this connection's headed please The Seven of Wands, yeah. Be prepared to stand your ground here, Gemini. Um, I'm feeling it was it was similar to Taurus's energy, where Taurus is currently being dragged into someone else's argument. I feel that the same is about to happen for you here, Gemini. Okay. Um, The, the weird thing is, Gemini, I'm under the strong suspicion here that Spirit is asking for you to be compassionate to this particular individual because they don't actually realize how uh, tone deaf they're being. So there, the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups at the bottom of that deck. Knowing when you've been defeated, knowing when, when to walk away from something, knowing that, that a situation isn't worth your investment anymore. So if this is a situation that you're coming out of, Gemini, Spirit's telling you that you're heading towards success. What action does Gemini's person want to take, please? towards Gemini or what action should they take the high priestess okay I'm getting a message here about keeping secrets okay this is also indicating to me <clears throat> that whoever this individual is they are currently observing you all right um they're, they're subconsciously doing something here. It's almost as if they, they recognized the potential, but it wasn't fully expressed within that situation. It's like they know that deep down, they, they, they know that in their intuition. Clarify the high, thank you. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, a King of Coins, and a Magician. They know they fucked up. For certain. For certain, Gemini. They literally... Their higher self is telling them that they made a mistake. And that they should have done more in the situation. But they didn't and they know that they didn't. As far as actions towards you, Gemini, this individual might well be coming towards you and promising some kind of change being put in. They certainly feel that they are being... Um, guided towards trying to reconcile or rectify this situation with this particular combination. You could end up being really suspicious of them though. They're definitely trying to feel out this situation, High Priestess with an Ace of Cups. They're trying to they they're trying to almost predict how how you would feel or how you would react. So perhaps when when you two were in close proximity to each other, perhaps they weren't being very empathetic towards you. And they know that now. They definitely know that they didn't support you with something when they should have been supporting you with something. And for you, that, that was like the last straw. For some of you, you felt very alone while you were with or around this particular person. You, you, you always felt like you were alone. Okay. What action should Gemini take or is wanting to take, please? Her, the High Priestess. This is somebody that you're mirroring. 
I'm feeling that there's a lot of um, subconscious communication here that's going on between yourself and this individual. This could well be like a twin flame type situation also, with the High Priestess being for both of you in the exact same position. That's a lot of um, telepathic communication that, that's going on. You're certainly visiting each other in each other's dreams, that sort of thing. But again, in a physical world, it's a very silent energy in the physical. This individual over here is torn. They're definitely torn. So it's like, in, in the physical, they know that they didn't give to the situation, which is why they ended up losing you. It was very one-sided and they, they, they know feel well how and why that happened but by the same token it's almost like they're they're still grudging you for walking away when at the time or if you're currently in the process of walking away um, that's literally the only thing that you could do in that situation but then deep down this person knows that, that you had to walk away so their physical self hasn't yet caught up with their spiritual self because they're, they're still conflicted. I feel that this individual might try and argue with you here about something, Gemini. So just be prepared for that, okay? Uh, what is the outcome or the advice from Spirit here, please, for Gemini? The Three of Swords, yeah. Yeah, some things are best left buddied. As soon as I saw that, it was like picking at an old scab and making it bleed all over again. And it's like, you can only do that so many times until that becomes a scar. Something does need to be revisited. But Spirit's saying, don't linger in that place for too long. There is unresolved pain, and for some of you, some kind of unresolved trauma that it does need to be looked at. But really, Spirit is emphasizing Philly, but you mustn't stay there for too long. Some of you are needing to have a cry as well. See with that rain. Some of you need to have a cry and let all of those repressed feelings and emotions come out. Clarify this three of swords, please. Thank you. Four of swords, five of cups and a two of wands. Yeah. Yeah, from, from the pain, the disappointment and the heartbreak comes... A, a, a new a new beginning a new path so you'll be able to see a lot clearer once you've actually felt this grief or this anger these repressed feelings because you got rash rejuvenate reevaluate reconsider with four of swords Five of Cups, end of a relationship, end of a friendship. Someone legit being emotionally hurt. And then the two of Wands making a decision, picking a new path, planning for the future. Actually aligning yourself. Aligning yourself with where it is you're now headed in life. It's all to clarify you three assaults, pain, grief, disappointment, anguish. This combination is spirit telling you, Gemini, there is a silver line into this particular cloud. And you might not see it right now and you might feel that that's incredibly patronizing. However, that is the message that's coming through here. That there is a silver line in here for a lot of you.
I'm feeling something about your twin flame connections is being brought to light. Okay. It's almost, it's almost like somebody is being triggered all over again. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. What else can you tell us for a Gemini, please? What else can you tell us for Gemini? Okay. Game face. Taking things very seriously. A competition, the look of in it to win it and faking it till you make it. Game face. That's literally, you've been putting your best foot forward and trying to carry on as best as possible, trying to carry on as normal as possible. Keep Keeping your uh, feelings buried as deep as you possibly can. Looking closely, observing, nitpicking, creeping, a situation magnifying, things getting rectified, and focus. I'm feeling refocus. This person over here is trying to refocus themselves. They're trying to refocus their um, priorities. They're definitely wanting to rectify something with you here, for certain. And then skater girl, skating along, balance, outdoor date, letting things slide, adaptable quickly and seamlessly. That's like a, that's like a, a smooth transition. It reminds me very much of the two of coins in tarot. It's like fi finding your momentum again, finding your balance again. It's that smooth transition from one way of being into a new way of being. Or from one way of doing into a new way of doing. Um, you being adaptable, yeah. Spirit's asking for you to be adaptable. Things are about to change on a pin here. What's under there? Sword and the Rose. Clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honour, protection and power. Something is definitely being revealed to you here, Gemini, about your twin flame. For some of you. Acts. Break up separation. Stop in the pattern. Silent treatment and abandonment. Were you having to walk away from that individual? It played into their abandonment issues. That's where the, all that resentment's coming from. That's the revelation. That's the truth that you've been needing to help heal this. Some of you felt guilty for a long, long time for doing what you had to do. The spirit saying that you, you literally had no other option. Like, you, you had to walk away from that. What else, please, for Gemini? Okay. The Three of Diamonds. That's arguments and disagreements here, Gemini. With the Three of Diamonds. Spirit is urging here for you to get your point across to this individual. Even, even if it means... Because that's twice now that you've had like the card of differences. The Three of Diamonds and in your Oracle. So there's a firm difference of opinion here where neither individual is going to agree with each other. What else for Gemini, please? Okay, the King of Clubs and Ten of Spades. Right, so you're King of Clubs. That is usually an individual who is very upright, very faithful and affectionate. And then your ten of spades is worry, grief and trouble. 
So as a combination, someone is feeling some kind of way about you not being faithful to them. That feels like projection to me, Gemini. It's almost like you you tried to do what you could for that individual. But no matter what you tried, you couldn't really get close to them. I mean, really close to them. There, there was always this um, barrier between these. It's indicating to me that you could well have been blamed by this person for shit that went on in their past. So it's like, say for example, this individual was cheated on, not by you, but by other people before they met you. And then they get in a situation with you and automatically you're guilty. Do you know what I mean? That That's what that feels like to me. Like guilty by association type thing. They should have been fully healed before they even tried to start anything with you. The Ace of Hearts. New relationships, new friendships, new home. Ace of Hearts. That's what, that's what you're headed towards, Gemini. A new relationship elsewhere. That is going to be very complimentary to you. No longer having to uh, pander to this individual over here. You're headed towards something that is very, very stable, very grounded, very um, realistic. You see, this one, that's an unrealistic situation. Like, th there's no way that you could have sustained that. That, that just wasn't going to happen. You're heading towards something else that is brand new and it is sustainable with the ace of hearts that is specific new relationships new friendships building up a new home okay right so we're going to pull some messages at random now, these could be messages from you to your person, or it could be messages from your person to you. Take it as it resonates, okay? You will know for your particular situation who's saying what, okay? Messages, Gemini and their person, thank you. You came closer than anyone. Okay, so even though they were very standoffish, even though you felt that you couldn't get emotionally very close to that individual, you still managed to get closer to them than anyone else had. I feel you even though we're apart. Yeah, that's why you both had the uh, high priestess in the exact same positions as each other. You, you still feel each other's energy, even though you're physically apart. And then it was my fault, but I blamed you. I told you, didn't I? That's projection. This individual had their own traumas and their own bullshit that they brought into the connection with you. And that, that wasn't, that, that wasn't fair. That was not fair at all. Finding out the truth crushed me. That's the revelation that they had. The fact that they've been trauma dumping Okay, right, I do need to leave that one there, Gemini. Um, it's up to you what you do with that reading, okay? You need to remember, though, that tarot is not in charge, okay? It is not a scapegoat, it is not a crutch, it's a guide, and it should be respected as such, okay? 
you're the one that's in charge of your destiny for the most part. If you feel that you could benefit from a personal reading that is catered more towards your own specific needs, then you can place your booking at phoenixkeyatarot.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.